I remember the first time I fell in love. I had a crush. I was in sixth grade. I, I go to school. It's the first day of school. And I see this girl, this beautiful blonde girl. And immediately I was like, wow. And I just felt this rush of emotion. And I got super excited. And the entire year, yeah, I told her, I told some people in school the first few days that I liked her and she found out. And the entire year, I maybe talked to her twice. I spoke to her twice. And not that I reminisce or regret not talking to her. What would have happened? I, I was in sixth grade, you know? But it's such a valuable lesson because what if I had spoken to someone or, or not changed? And, and here I am, you know, I'm 22. And the one thing that has created so many opportunities for me is that every time I see someone I want to talk to, every time I see someone anywhere, I talk to them. I talk to everyone I see. Unless obviously it's risky or dangerous, but I speak to everyone I see. I'm always smiling because you never know who you're going to meet. You never know when you're going to meet them. You never know where you're going to meet them. And that's the thing. People look at confidence as something that's inborn. You're just born with it. Confidence is learned. I practice being confident all the time. Every time I go out and I say, hey, what's up to someone random, I introduce myself, I laugh, I smile, I get rejected. That to me is practice. You know, it's like going to the gym for the mind. How many people did you talk to today? How many people did you talk to yesterday, last month? Did you talk to as many people as me today in the last month, right? I spoke to around 15, 20 people today. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's your day going? What's up? I love your shoes. Simple things, but that's what confidence comes from. It comes from being able to go up to anyone, anywhere, anytime, and be yourself without fear of judgment. But the only way to get over the fear of rejection, the fear of judgment, the need for, self, for validation is, is by learning how to become self-validating. And, you know, now, if I were to fall in love with someone in an instant, if I were to see someone I wanted to talk to, I wouldn't be scared to make something happen. I wouldn't sit there and think to myself, oh, what if this happens? I wouldn't start to dwell on the future, on how amazing the future is going to be. And the more amazing the future gets, the more anxious I feel. And before I know it, I'm so in my head and I look there and the person I want to talk to is gone. Now, just like talking to people, there's so many opportunities that you are probably not taking advantage of because you sit there and you think about it, right? People take up, they pick up a book. They're like, I'm going to study. I'm going to study, study, study. Five years go by and then what? I'm 22. Success does not come from studying. It comes from experience. Experience is the ultimate teacher. Failure and rejection, the ultimate teachers. If you actually want to have something in your life, you want to have actual success, you want to move forward, you got to take action, you got to commit yourself. And it starts with each person you talk to, it starts with every step you take, every day you go to the gym, every day you decide to eat healthy, every day you decide to quit smoking or stop drinking or stop binge eating, Stop feeling depressed or sorry for yourself. Every day you make a decision that can impact your future. Remember, what you did yesterday does not matter. It's what you do right now that determines the outcome of your future, the quality of your life, and the direction in which you want to take it. You are always in control of your future. And do not, do not sit there and waste it. Because I promise you, when you look back on your life, one of two things is going to happen. You're going to be proud of what you've done, of what you've accomplished, of who you've become. Or you're going to ask yourself, what if I had said hi to that one person? What if I had made more money? What if I had been more in my life? Don't let yourself get to the point of regret. Take action today. I don't care how old you are. Make decisions, set goals today. And I promise you, that's going to be the difference in enjoying your life and not. Right now, ask yourself, how do you feel? You see, I look at my life and I feel good, and I love life. I wake up early because I know how amazing life is. I used to sleep in 12, 13, 14 hours a day, and I needed to sleep. Now I get up, I get in a cold shower. Do I ever wanna get in a cold shower? Do I ever feel good getting in a cold shower in the morning? No, but I do it because it shocks me. It wakes me up, and I'm ready for my fucking day because I don't sit there and ask myself, oh man, should I get up today? Should I enjoy my day? Or should I just sleep in? No, I get up, I go to the shower, I turn on cold water, I don't think twice, I just get in. 
I just get in, it shocks my body, I feel great. When I see someone I like or want to talk to, I just go. I don't think about it, I just do it. When I think of an idea, I make it happen. There are no questions. One of, one of the most successful people I've ever met told me something, and they probably got it from someone else who's successful, and it's that say yes to every opportunity and then figure out how you're going to make it happen. When you have a goal, when you have an intention, say yes to it and then figure out how. You see a baby get up, right? It's first steps. It's never walked before. It doesn't know how to walk. But as it gets up and takes every step, every time it falls, it gets back up, it falls, it gets back up, it learns how to walk. The brain starts to create connections and pathways and before you know it, it's running, it's an Olympic athlete. That kid is no longer a baby. You were a kid at one point, you didn't know how to walk. You didn't know how to talk. You didn't know anything that you know today. Success is the same way. You don't need to know how to get there. You just need to know where you're going, get up, take action, and things will start to fall in line for you. And before you know it, the goals you thought you would never accomplish will be something you already did a year ago. Take action today, make a difference in your life, and I promise you, you won't look back with regret. You'll look back with happiness, You'll be appreciative, you'll be grateful, you'll feel fulfilled, and you'll realize you had a meaningful life.